So today is a hearing for House Bill 245, which is my opponent, Angie King's Ohio Drag Bill, along with Josh Williams. Um, this is proponent testimony, which is the supporters of um, the legislation. You can see on your screen right there um, a list of those testifying today. Um, it really is a who's who of hate uh, between Gays Against Groomers, Center for Christian Virtue, uh, many of her friends in um, the Salina government. Uh, but the important thing to note is that some of those people are also her relatives that are actually testifying in favor of it. Um, I've skimmed over a lot of the testimony. It is full of utter rubbish, frankly. Um, these are attacks on small town pride that do not represent reality. Talking about, you know, exposed crotches and stuff like this, which is absurd. Um, because what we saw in this case that they're talking about was a drag queen who happened to be a gymnast. And um, there was nothing to be seen. Actually, you probably would have seen a whole lot more if they had been in a traditional gymnast outfit. Being in drag, they actually covered more than they otherwise would have. Um, but when it comes right down to it, this is a very sloppily written bill. Um, it doesn't only target drag queens, although that would be enough. But if you found something that I did entertaining, then I could be considered an entertainer at that point. And because I'm dressed in, in clothing that does not represent the gender I was assigned at birth, that could potentially be a felony for me. Um, it is a ridiculous bill. It has no right passing. And if it does, the only thing it's going to do for you, the Ohio constituent, is cost your tax money because this is guaranteed to go to court. It is blatantly unconstitutional. And as taxpayers, you get to pay for my opponent to go on her vendetta-driven agenda. This is about her trying to stop something in her hometown that she personally doesn't like because of a religious bias that she has, and she failed to do so. So now she's using the state house as her way to get back at the people that frankly beat her. And that's what's going on now. This is why it is so important for you to keep an eye on politics in your local, in, in your local area, in your state, and know what's really going on. Because in some cases, these people are simply bringing their personal vendettas to the state house time and time again. And we have a responsibility to fight back. I look forward to seeing when opponent testimony comes up. I'm keeping an eye on this legislation. And when that opponent testimony is available, you can expect to see me at the State House. Thank you. My name is Ariane Childry, and I approve of this message.